back out here in the garden. And it's time to kind of get things going a bit. I need to clean up the uh, leaves, all the schmag, kind of sweep a bit and get things ready to be planted. So I don't really have a wheelbarrow anymore. So I'll be using these. I'm gonna rake up all the schmag, put them in these containers. I'd use for rainwater in the uh, summertime. I'm gonna put all this stuff in there and I'm gonna pile it all up. So I got my compost pile and yeah, let's just get started. So all this schmag is going bye-bye. And oh, there's a lot of things. It's all my old sticks with the names of the plants and different supports for the plants from last year. And put these over here. This is exciting. Gotta get, gotta get going on this. It's uh, almost April. April's coming pretty soon. Look at that, I still have these trees. They survived the winter. Little trees in the pot. Just all these leaves gonna get raked up. We got a lot of them and they need it. A lot of this I can just pick up and toss in. One thing is you can definitely see how rich the soil is from uh, putting the schmag on top during the winter time, leaving it for a while in the spring. It really, you can even smell it. You can smell that compost. It smells really nice, fresh, healthy soil. So a lot of this I can leave in like I'm not gonna clean all of it out, but just the main top layer so I can actually plant things in the dirt is what is what I'm doing right now. Lots of old schmag from old hollyhocks, some old broken stuff. Remnants from one of my containers I used for water. That's what the sun does to plastic. Just destroys it. So that's all garb this is my garbage. tobacco. I'm uh, pretty sure this is an old tobacco as well. This is from that massive Ahus. And you're stuck in there. One second. We're recording still. Good. Uh, wow. Look at those roots. Gnarly looking tobacco root stock thing. Toss that. All right, now these, these two beds, they definitely need to get uh, cleaned up. I also have the old stems in these pots. These can all get pulled out. Most of them at least. I'm gonna put some new herbs some, uh, and some other experimental plants in here. So you know what's pretty bad? I don't remember which garden bed I put the garlic in. I put, I usually put up the sticks like this to block off where I planted garlic. But I also put them in the bed over here. This is the bed right next to it. I um, put sticks like right here and right here. So I don't know which one I put the garlic in unless I did uh, one in both. Maybe I did some in both, which is really silly because I filmed a video about it. Maybe I can find it on my hard drive, but I never actually um, edited it. I never edited it, the video, and put it online. So I guess I need to figure out a better uh, method to mark when I actually put the garlic down. Rock. All right, guys, I think I figured it out. I planted the garlic over there because I wanted the potatoes to be in here. 
Um, there's still plants, the old brassicas from last year, that are still in the ground. So I didn't pull them out to plant. So I'm thinking they're definitely over there. That's awesome, because I was hoping I didn't put them in here, because I want this to be all for potatoes. So. So this is kind of too bad. This old um, trellis I made, I mean, it's pretty raggedy as it is. It's pretty janky, but now it's like rotting. And the grapevine has grown pretty well on this thing. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take it apart and build a new trellis. Um, I'm gonna have to trim the grapes a little bit because there's no way I can do take the trellis apart without um, doing something with their their size. So we're gonna see how that goes. But first, before I do that, I wanna rake this garden bed here. Halloween decoration. All right, time to do something with this. I think I'm going to have to Trim this guy a little low. Lower, not too low. Just a bit. So I can reshape him onto a new trellis. Here we go. Now this trellis is gone bye-bye. Retired. 2022 changes. That opens up the space so much, actually. So for now, I'm gonna build a little I'm just gonna, well, I'm not gonna build. I'm just going to make something to keep them like supported for now until I get the materials to build an actual nice trellis for them. All right, so I just got the two sticks. I just tied them up, simple knots. This will hold them up, keep them sturdy until I get a new trellis set up for them. And we'll get, hopefully get some new, uh, some nice grapes this year. Some old dead branches. I'm excited for this. I'm excited to make something new from. You need something sturdy made out of solid wood. I'm gonna have to build that. That's gonna be a new project. Some old wildflowers. Just kind of spreading it around. I'm not gonna get rid of all the schmag, just some in this garden. I'm gonna clean up this food forest garden just a little bit. Just move some of these leaves. I piled on a lot. And the plants need some room to grow out of. at that looking pretty good if I do say so myself now took a lot of work did a lot of sweeping a lot of raking and a lot of maintenance and we're pretty much ready to start the new year the planting season I think I think we're pretty much pretty much golden thanks for watching I know it's not like the most interesting video just me literally doing yard work but thanks for watching, I appreciate it, and stay tuned for the planting of the seeds and everything else coming soon. First thing I will, I will be doing is uh, planting potatoes. So stay tuned for the potato planting video and uh, much more. I'm excited to get the 2022 uh, Urban Permaculture Garden season going. Thanks for watching, have a good one, peace.